Good day guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. <clears throat> my name is Ademola Badmos. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. In this video, we will begin the process of adding, improving our script up to the BDD point. In the previous video, we talked about uh, creating commands. And um, I think I failed to mention what we are doing by declaring a namespace. You see, what TypeScript actually brings into the fold is one very important thing. JavaScript declares high level object when it is when you're working with JavaScript. But uh, TypeScript sort of presents um, a a very a, a, a compact way and a better way to represent this particular object by providing um, a better insight into it. What a particular object needs to follow the data type it, it takes in and all of that so that's why we declared a namespace here and you can see the namespace not just the command we didn't just get the command in we talked about uh, the element itself the the data type in in itself and how it's how chainable what the chainable end uh, looks like so we brought in a strict value so it means that for that element if we put something different we would understand why if like maybe we put a floating number and it doesn't work we understand why because it has been highlighted for us here unlike if we are done if we are done it in javascript and we made that mistake we might not be able to figure it out on time right but this one would really tell us and um, it's uh, a better way to represent um, um, high level objects that are being displayed by javascript so let us get into the nitty gritty of things. The first thing that we need to do is we need to add some more dependencies. So I uh, would add, don't let me close what we have already. So I'll open a new terminal. And um, what I will do essentially is try to install those things. So instead of right, typing install, save dev, whatnot, I will just type I, I with a flag D, then the first one I want to install is the Cucumba preprocessor itself. So the latest one is no longer the Cucumba preprocessor, it has been owned, it has been taken over. The ownership has been taken over by this Norwegian superstar. Is uh, they can give him a follow on GitHub, his handle on GitHub is Bait Ball. So you can give him a follow on GitHub. So he has been doing a wonderful job with this Cypress Cucumber. Please, this is not an advert on his behalf and I'm not trying to worship him. I just feel that he's really doing a great job with, with it and I mentioned that. So we would install this first preprocessor. Did I get the spelling correctly? Yep. So while we, have, we are installing this, we can also now install in the previous video of a BDD that I did, I used a web pack. But lately, I've been using the Cypress Browserify. So that's what I will be using. I will not be using the Cypress uh, web pack anymore. Um, and this also reminds me, the videos that we that are left in this playlist might go beyond four, like I said in the previous video, because we might just stretch it to using the script to test on, uh, on browser stack environment. So we can do a multi-platform and a multi-browser testing, which uh, people ideally say that um, is one of the drawbacks of Cypress. No, it isn't a drawback. Cypress, can, you can actually do a multi-browser testing on Cypress if you if you have the Cypress dashboard, but the Cypress dashboard isn't free. So using browser stack or probably getting another means to do it, it's a way to go, but browser stack isn't free. But the added advantage that browser stack would bring is that you can test it on multiple platforms at the same time. Like you can write one script and you can launch a virtual Windows environment, a virtual Linux environment, a virtual Mac OS environment, and run it on different browsers on those platforms. So I think we will want to get to that. So I haven't said that. I will install this two stuff. I will add it into our script. Then um, we would be close to beginning. So while it is installing, I would also add some some little things into our compiler, uh, uh, um, um, uh, 
uh, our TS config file. And uh, the thing that we'll add into our TX config file is basically two things the node version, we'll specify the node version, and uh, we, we call them the module resolution, where how the um, the the node module will be resolved in what version. So, and we'll also do then um, a, an ES module interop. We'll down a Boolean value, so we'll set that to true. So, we say ES module interop uh, so we we'll set the value to true not false we we'll set the value to true and um, after that we we'll would do the module resolution the module resolution should not be classic it should be node 16 yes so with this i think we've um, done the biggest part of it and uh, so the next thing we will also want to do is we'll make some changes in our um, cypress config right we'll make some changes in our cypress config and those changes would include specifying a spec pattern so we have a spec pattern now and the spec pattern would include this feature files that's what it will include um so name of the file people like that then we say dot feature so we would include this and um well after including that what else do we need to do oh yeah we now need to bring you remember that in the old Cypress version, for those who have watched that playlist, there is a plugin folder that specifies the configuration of um, the Cucumber preprocessor. But in this new version, I've already told you that the plugin functionality has been joined with the Cypress.json file, which give, give, which uh, resulted into resulted into the Cypress.config um, file. So whether it is in JS format or it's in T uh, TypeScript format you will need to put your plugin configuration here. The only difference is that in some cases, maybe in Java, in JavaScript, you might be, instead of having it as import this from this, you would uh, have it as a, maybe a constant of that requiring that particular module. So I will, um, because it's a long set of things and I don't want to waste our time. So I'll just go and pick an example of what we need then i'll paste it then try to explain what is there but um, the explanation is not quite different from um so let's just say um cypress cucumber example let's even use bitball because he had he created some examples himself so let's just put bitball there and um this is his GitHub. We should see something in his GitHub um, examples. So we have a um, browserify. So yeah, this is what we need. So we can copy everything from here. From here, we can copy it down to here. So we copy this and um we paste here now we can remove all the cosmetics the so here basically the on parameter in cypress has been um triggered here because the on is actually used to take um to watch out for events while the config is also used um, to um, create um, configurations around what you've um, triggered. So here, what we need is the file preprocessor, right? And um, that has been triggered in the on and um, we sort of went ahead and um, now say that in here, it should, it should resolve everything in TypeScript, right? So, which means um, the commands should accommodate TypeScript as well. 
at this point we don't have anything here so we might as well just remove this it is not necessary for us at that point in time so now now that we've done this this is just the configuration that we need to add so in our cypress folder now in our e2e we can add an extra folder make sure you're clicking on e2e itself so in that folder let's just call it banker journey right and we'll create another file and we call that one the same name the same spelling banker journey but this time it comes with a feature extension because that is the feature file that you need to write your script so now there are some um syntaxes that are synonymous to bdd um i think i would want to cut this video so in the next video so i'll begin the bdd all over we've been able to do the configuration of the um, bdd successfully so in the next video i'll talk about the syntaxes and the structure and why bdd is also good so if you've gotten this far please do not forget to like and subscribe and um See you in the next video. Bye-bye.